Hello, hello. I am Amber. I am doing this quick video um, because I wanted to show you how you make these tortilla pizzas that look so good. So that sound that you heard was uh, my oven. I preheated it to 425 degrees. Um, so right now I have like this um, baking sheet and aluminum foil. I, I use that all the time. Um, it makes the bottom crisp for the tortilla pizza. Um, so for the tortillas, I actually got what size? Because I wanted a big pizza. Last time we had like little tortillas. And I was like, um, this ain't cutting it in my adult stomach. So this package is the 20 ounce package of tortilla and it comes with eight. So it's a little bit bigger than what we make our quesadillas with. So I went ahead and put, um, got one of those, put that, um, marinara sauce um or the base and um i don't like i don't like red sauce as much as i like white sauce to be honest on any of my pastas um so i don't use a lot of the sauce that's enough to coat it i think that's how much you're supposed to use anyway but if you're a sauce lover go ahead rock out with the with the red sauce. Um, so, I am going to just coat it like that. Just enough for, just enough <laughs> to taste it. We'll be making um, these pizzas actually um, next week, but I went ahead and made one today because, um, I just um, planted some basil or um, propagated some basil and I needed to use the basil. Um, I need to use the basil leaves before they turn bad. So I said I was gonna make me a margarita pizza, margarita tortilla pizza. And I'm sure that you can make it, um, I'm sure that you can make it on the pizza dough um, or the pizza crust that they sell, but I said, I'm gonna make mine tortillas. I keep tortillas. My Dallas loves, uh, <laughs> quesadillas. So I keep tortillas and cheese because of her. So, but as a grown up pizza and she's not here, I'm going to make a margarita pizza. So got the, um, marinara sauce. And so I have a Roma tomato. You can use any type of tomato. And I'm gonna cut it um, very thin. And the crazy part about it, I do my grocery shopping online. So normally I make my list for next week, the week prior, um, probably Wednesday or Thursday. Um, and then I set out for my grocery list for um, to pick up on Friday. So I can meal prep on Sunday. So I get stuff for the weekend and also for next week on Friday. Um, so I went ahead and, you know, got my groceries yesterday because today is Saturday. And I was so excited because I was going to make my pizza last night. But guess what? I did not put tomatoes on my list. And I did not get tomatoes yesterday. And when I got home, I realized that. And I said really <laughs> I said really and I couldn't think about nothing else but that pizza last night and I was like dang like make sure you wash your hands I did um before adding the cheese I was like dang like and so I think that I made me like a, a fruit tray well a cheese and fruit tray so I made I um, cut up some cheese I had some grapes in there and I had some olives and I just sat and watched my show and then <laughs> went to sleep Cause I was so, I was like, I, I'm not thinking about what I'm going to make. I'm really not. I was so mad about that. I was really mad about that last night. But anyway, I stopped by the store today. 
this morning running errands. I went to go vote today, early voting. So sprinkle the cheese um, enough to where you don't really see the red anymore, but um, don't make it so cheesy because the tortillas are so thin. Um, so I normally do it and just spread it out like that. I cannot wait for this pizza to get into my stomach. So I did that. I cut my aroma tomato, how many slices? One, two, three, four, five, seven. So I did seven slices. So I'm just gonna put them like that. And I cut them, I tried to cut them thin. I really did. I probably won't even use all of the tomatoes. I'm gonna get the thin one over here. And then I took my basil leaves and we're gonna spread them around the pizza. I took the stems off of the basil leaves as well. I'm so excited about um, getting more recipes in my repertoire with the herbs that I am growing. I have sage. Um, I'm going to do thyme. I tried to propagate rosemary, did not work, so I have to try a new way or get maybe a new rosemary uh, bush. Okay. So, uh-oh. Remember, these are very thin. So here's what mine's look like. You saw that? Wasn't that many. And then I am going to put it in the oven. When we originally make these um, with just cheese and pepperoni, meat or whatever, the meat really is already cooked and the cheese just needs to melt. So I am going to um, put it for a little bit longer than five minutes um, because the tomatoes have to kind of soften and so does the basil leaves. So I will let you know how it mm -hmm. is. So as um, the pizza is cooling, um, I use the rest of the tomatoes and it's so crazy. I'm just so country like this. But the rest of the tomato slices, I put like salt and pepper on them and eat them. <clears throat> okay. It's so good. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, that pepper tickle in my throat. But it's so good. I remember me and my sister, um, the closest sister, like in age to me, we would do this like all the time growing up. And it's so good. It's a tasteful way to get vegetables into your life. <laughs> Have it for a snack. You can cut up tomatoes. <clears throat> and eat them just like this so as you can see um the cheese melted the um leaves are very um soft and um the potatoes are softer tomato tomato <laughs> are softer um so i'm just allowing it to cool um the crust and that's the part that you really want to have the crust is very very crisp so when you're eating the pizza it won't you know be very very flimsy so that's what i love i want the crust to be actually um when you get to the middle part it's kind of soft but especially around where the crust part is for the pizza um you definitely want it to um be a little bit um on the crispy side so can't wait to eat it. I got my peaky pizza. Oh my gosh. This is what the slices look like. Mm. I'm so excited with trying every, trying recipes. Um, 
that I can use my herbs with. So I hope yours turns out as delicious as this. The way I cut it, I made sure that every slice had at least some tomato, some basil. Happy eating.